drought conditions bounce back slightly in Nebraska. According to the latest U.S. Drought Monitor, 4% of the state is now listed as abnormally dry. For other areas of the Corn Belt, too much moisture has started to drag condition ratings. Illinois, Ohio, and Indiana all experienced their wettest June on record. The rating of soybeans in poor to very poor shape now stands at 20% in Illinois, 22% in Ohio, and 26% in Indiana. Earlier this week, we talked with DTN senior ag meteorologist Bryce Anderson to get an update on growing conditions, starting with a moisture update for Nebraska. Moisture is really uh, pretty decent across the state. Now there's still as, uh, as a, a pocket of drier conditions in north central and northeastern Nebraska. And uh, that's where we know that uh, pretty much since the uh, beginning of the real growing time frame for crops that the uh, irrigation systems have been uh, busy. But in the western part of the state, uh, there have been some very abundant rains. South central has done well and eastern Nebraska has done pretty well too. So. You know, you look at the state in general, and for this time of uh, the season, this particular point in the year, uh, that's a, a, a very good moisture supply overall. How does it compare as you go farther to the east? Well, as you go farther to the east and then to the southeast, uh, it just gets wetter and wetter. And uh, there's uh, soils that are just 100% saturated now from about uh, southeastern Iowa through uh, just about all of Missouri. Uh, the southern two-thirds of Illinois, just about all of Indiana, and most of Ohio, and into Kentucky. And, and obviously that southeastern part of the Corn Belt is where all the damage is because of too much rain. And is that damage significant? Yes, it is. Uh, there could be uh, as many as uh, five million acres of soybeans that are still in jeopardy. When you think about the uh, percentage of uh, poor to very poor conditions, that uh, have been uh, reported now in the crop uh, condition reports, uh, that, that type of acreage is still at risk. And then corn has had numerous areas of ponding out, even in some of the uh, better soils. And uh, this is not a, a feature that completely goes away. I mean, it's one thing to, it's one thing to talk about above average rains during June and, and so forth, but there were record rains in that portion of the Corn Belt by a large margin and uh, the crops are just not going to turn around and recover from that. Why so wet, because of El Nino? El Nino was a big part of it, uh, but Jeff, uh, the, the general weather pattern that we had for the first half of the season was pretty much the weather pattern that we had from last winter, and that was uh, uh, powerful, uh, high pressure along the western coast of North America, low pressure troughing over the Great Lakes and Hudson Bay, and, and so the storm track was already set up to be located over the southeastern part of the Corn Belt. And then El Nino came in, bringing in energy in the subtropical jet out of the, uh, the eastern Pacific and uh, just uh, sort of helped to supercharge the rainfall amounts that we had. Compared to last year, and we talked about a year ago at this time, and we talked about the, the number of severe events that Nebraska had experienced. This year, not to tempt fate, but it really hasn't been like that. Is that because of El Nino? In large part it is. Uh, El Nino uh, kind of serves to, uh, to moderate uh, the, the overall temperature difference uh, in the atmosphere. And so that uh, is a big reason why things have been relatively milder. Now, now there are obviously parts of the state where to say it was a milder setup to the growing season, uh, you know, there's going to be uh, folks who, who say uh, not so because of some of the horrendous flooding that we've seen. But as far as the occurrences of tornadoes and hail and damaging winds, it hasn't been anything nearly like we had last year. What's the outlook for the rest of the summer look like? Well, for the rest of the summer, uh, there's uh, you know, some brief rounds of heat that we have uh, in uh, the state. Uh, here in mid-July, that's actually helped crops. Uh, I mean, crops are, are taking off finally, and uh, we're going to be uh, in, a, in good shape, I think, on growing degree day accumulation. But for the balance of the season, we're looking uh, near normal on temperatures, kind of uh, varying either side of that, and we're still going to be in a rainfall track. Uh, the the uh, high pressure uh, focus is going to be in the southern plains from central Oklahoma south through Texas, we're going to be on the edge of that, and that means that we're going to be in uh, the the, the uh, area where uh, storms fire up, and we continue to get uh, every so often uh, shots of rain here.